It's like that treasured childhood outfit framed in a shadow box until you look closer. This artwork is patiently and perfectly folded from paper with all its childhood charm. Today we are meeting and learning from the artist, Elise Lamoureux. Welcome to Studio Five. Thank you, I'm so excited to be here. These are amazing, these are treasures. These are almost like little heirlooms. Oh. Yeah, thank you. How long have you been creating these paper dresses? Oh, I've been folding these for about three years now. So, yeah, I just, I love it. It brings me so much joy and it gives me a place to fuel my creative outlet. So, the crisp yeah. precision of the folds and the detail in these designs are amazing. Will you point out a few examples and explain yeah. what they're made from as well? That's so, part of the story. I love especially doing maps because it just like gives you... I don't know, just um, something to relate to. Um, so this one is a little boy one. I just recently started doing the little boy outfit. Look at the bow tie, I look know. at the collar. They're so fun. And then the dresses, um, I think my favorite part about them is just all the little details added to the dress. Um, the little buttons, the little ruffles, the bows. I just, I don't know, all the little details are my very favorite. You told me you were inspired by a high-end store. You saw a framed piece of art, folded paper, uh -huh. under glass, and you thought, I could do that. Yeah. How long does this take you? First of all, how long did it take you to learn or get it right? Well, I started out, it's kind of funny to look back at my first ones, because they're just silly, but um, I was so proud of it in the moment. Oh, yeah. And I just, over time, have worked at it, and I have grown to really love it. And how long does one take you now? It takes me probably an hour and a half to get and all the way done do and add all the details. Do you sketch it in advance or how are you doing no, it? No, I just, I look at, usually I take the map and I look at it and see like, how do I want to cut this up and piece it together and what what's the most important part to show on the dress and then I go from there. I'm so, looking yeah. at sheet music. I think yeah. I saw a Disneyland brochure. Yep. Does any paper work for this kind of a project? Um, it has to be a little bit thinner. So um, yeah, usually maps are like the perfect Weight. paper. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And and shiny, glossy versus matte. Does it matter? Shiny works too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, All right. Yeah. What would you suggest as a beginner paper folding project? Okay. For I, us non-experts. I think these little simple mini dresses are just the perfect way to start. They're adorable. Yeah, they're so fun. And it's like, I love it on a garland. I think that's the cutest little decor. Will piece. you show us? Yes, so, okay. So you're gonna start with a piece of paper that's about like a four by six size, uh -huh. maybe a little bit smaller. Okay. And you're just gonna fold it to make steps. So maybe start out with like a half an inch fold. Okay. And your next fold is gonna be about a fourth of an inch. These so are like for the half pleats? of that. Yep. And okay. you're just gonna go straight down doing those folds. So this half is so an satisfying inch. For yeah, me to watch. It's so fun. Fourth of an inch, half an inch, fourth of an inch, all the way down. Um, just repeating your steps. I love someone who's confident with paper. This is true with any kind of paper craft, like wrapping paper. Yes. In this case, watching you just yeah. boss that paper around yeah. is so cool. I know, it's so fun. So you're just gonna have it look like this. Okay. Just a straight across fold. Yeah. To make it into the dress part, uh -huh. we are gonna gather the top pieces of the folds. Okay. So next, you're gonna just stack them one on top of each other. So just kind of press it down like that. At an angle? Yep, okay. just at an, at an angle, and that's gonna create like the bottom. So it's almost round. like another fold on the top, but you're keeping the yep. press from Keep, below. Yep, you're just pressing the very top of okay. that. Okay, all right. Plate. How are we adhering it or tacking so it together? So I always just use glue, but you could, with these mini dresses, you could just tape uh -huh. the top part, but if we wanna just glue sure. the top part, fold that a little bit more. Just kind of glue all these little oh, pieces in between each fold. In between, yep. Just so, so it's it nice and it. secure. Yep. You have to think about that. I'm sure if you're putting this under glass, and I know a lot of people yeah. are hanging these in nurseries or kind of as family heirlooms. That security becomes important, right? Yeah, we want it to last a long time. So okay, so now we have that all glued, and as you can see, it kind of makes like a little fan. Uh huh. And okay, so th this is the next part. We're gonna make the top, and I have a little tip. Okay. Um to make a top. You could use just put a square on the top, but I think it's kind of fun to give it a little more shape. So you're gonna just take a little square piece of paper, uh -huh. fold it in half, and um, this is kind of funny, but we're gonna cut a heart. For kind of that bodice effect? Uh-huh. Yep, we're gonna cut a little heart like this. 
Okay, and so for the bodice part, we're gonna snip off that bottom part of the heart. Okay. Just to make a straight line. There she is. And we're gonna, we're gonna cut off this little edge piece of the heart at an angle. And then you open it up and there, there's your little bodice. This could become such a fun obsession. I mean, yeah. even making this mini version that you're showing us. Okay, what's next? Okay, so then you just glue the bodice onto the dress. Okay. And the next is my very favorite, is adding all the details. To dress her up. Yep. Accessories. Yep. We're gonna make it so cute. So I love to add, with these mini ones, you can add whatever details you want. Okay. Um, little lace on the bottom would be so cute oh underneath. Goodness. Yes. Um, I don't know, you could tie a bow, make a little waistband sure for the dress. Sure you could, can I show? Yes, This yeah. girl right here. So this is a little card that I made that you could give to someone. Same mini dress, just yep. on card form. She's got the, the little gross grain ribbon there on the, on the belt. And then look how you've layered kind of that peekaboo lace on the top line of the bodice. That is so sweet. These oh, are thanks. adorable. And you make the paper bows too on the bigger, uh -huh. yep. the bigger designs. Yep and buttons, real life buttons. Oh my gosh, yeah. you are an artist. These are beautiful. Where can Thank we see you. more of your work? Um, I have an Instagram, Millie May Shop, and you, I also have a website, milliemayshop.com. So well, thank you yeah. for our website. Thank you for showing us this mini version. I feel inspired I could take this on, even with my daughters. How fun. Yeah, I know, it's fun to I do I guess it's kids. like paper dolls, yes. right? Yeah. That's why we love this in such a nostalgic way. Thank you, nice to meet you. Thank Elise. you.